Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Well, today we're going to talk about fake. Now, doing the alphabet the best I can, well, we have to start off with media. Without the media, our criminal politicians couldn't get the word out there. They couldn't persuade the average man and woman, the persons, yes, because they're all walking dead, but the average man and woman would not get all this information which these criminals want to spread among us and destroy our lives. The media is the enemy of the people, politicians, the list goes on. So let's first of all have a look at the media. I'm wearing my, my second motor squadron tie today. I hope you guys can see that in Dublin. Proud to wear it. So let's go and have a look at the criminal media. First of all, I think we should look at the word fake. So we'll have a look at the word fake, at what fake starts, and then we'll go and look at the criminal media. I think that's on the tip of everyone's tongues. Fake news. Yeah. So what do we know about the word fake? The word fake is first recorded in the late 18th century. It's slang used by criminals in London with meanings connected to their illegal activities. Today, it can be an adjective, a noun, or a verb, and is used when talking about things that are not real, not genuine, but are designed to make people think that they are real. All these kinds of fakes can be called counterfeit. Without the fake media, we would never get these galars in office because politicians, as I said, there are private companies. There are obviously a couple of decent politicians around. We must be mindful of that. But I look at it, about 90% of them are nothing more than yet to be convicted criminals. Just have a look at the galars that we have for politicians running the state here in Australia. I remember the old story, Mutt and Jeff. We used to have it. Just have a look. I'll put it up on the screen here now and you can have a look at it and make your own decisions. And as we carry on, we'll make more sense of the term fake. What this means is that Tasmania will now be able to move to 200% renewables, unlocking and unleashing that investment potential for jobs and for renewable energy. Firstly, uh, in relation to Marinus Link itself, the Commonwealth will be providing $2.5 billion in concessional loans uh, to ensure that this project can be built as cheaply as possible. Marinus needs to be built. The question is how quickly and how cheaply. We'll be building it as quickly as possible and as cheaply as possible using the power of the federal government's balance sheet. Labor's powering Australia plan is fully costed. And targeted at the hip pocket, promising to cut electricity bills by $275 a year by 2025 and 378 by 2030. Energy companies are warning that home power bills are going to jump by another 35%. You can say the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine. Well, the rain doesn't always fall either, but we manage to store the water. We can store the renewable energy if we have the investment. Ah, well, uh, clearly our policy of introducing more renewables into the system is going to reduce power. Mr. Albanese, I invite you to take and subscribe the affirmation of office of the Prime Minister of the state. I, Anthony Norman Albanese, do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will well and truly serve the Commonwealth of Australia, her land and her people in the office of Prime Minister. If you wait a couple of weeks to be proven wrong or right, you know, if you, if you hesitate, then you finish up with many, many more cases and then that's what potentially puts at risk the status of all of regional Victoria. Mr Morrison, I invite you to take and subscribe the oath of office as Prime Minister of Australia. I, Scott John Morrison, do swear that I will well and truly serve the people of Australia in the office of Prime Minister and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Australia, so help me God. Subscribe the oath of office as Prime Minister. I, Kevin Michael Rudd, do swear that I will well and truly serve the Commonwealth of Australia, her land and her people in the office of Prime Minister. So help me God. 
conservative views were often controversial. For those migrants that don't like our way of life, they ought to turn around and go right back home from where they come from. Without the media, these politicians would never get a look in. Now, there's lots of other parties around that never get a look in, never will. They only mention the preferred parties, which is usually Labour or Liberal. And over in the Ireland, there's one side and the other side, all the same bird with different, different left and right wings and so on and so forth. But the average man and woman does not get a look in unless you've got lots and lots of money. We have to look at the Bar Association. We'll go through the alphabet. It's going to be a pretty slow process. I'll try and keep it down to a minimum. But the media are the reason we have fear in the country, fear of everything we do, we're told, because we get our info. Well, I don't. The average man and woman or person gets their information from the media, which is false. Now, we've heard the term false media so often now, but there's about 80% of the people out there who will watch that news regardless, and the only thing on it is that's honest probably is an accident or a fire or something like that, which they can't really, and there's not, no interest in it for them to bend the truth or anything. But when it comes to politics or anything related to politics, do come off the peninsula link um road cops are sitting on the corner and i'm just driving i'm going okay i've done nothing wrong i'll be fine and then i'm driving and i'm like oh they're coming up behind me now what can What's you your tell name? me what you pulled pulled me over for today i just did no can you repeat that please because the car the registration plates come up to a different vehicle and what vehicle was that a red suzuki swift oh okay no. okay i'm glad you think that's funny uh, well, it is. It is. It's hilarious. Um, okay, so my name's Dee. It's the first time I've, it, this has ever happened to me. And you, how can you get a red car, like false number plates on a number plate like that? You just regendered, right? At this moment in time, I feel like um, I'm being intimidated and bullied because it's ridiculous that my number plates can even vaguely come up as a different car. Well, I can show you if you like. Sure, that'd be great. Yeah? Yep. That'd be amazing. So what's, what's your residential address? I'll get and that. And I haven't said no. Then do it. I beg your pardon? Do Are you going to provide a sample of your breath? It's because you're going to bully me or you're going to do what? Test, please. Or oh, what? Or you'll be charged with failing to provide a sample of your breath. Yep. And I'll be seizing the keys. Well, with an infringement, that doesn't feel like a big deal because I hadn't done anything wrong. But they threatened to take my keys and, like, so I can't drive. Please have your numbers. We're not here. I'll do it after. Give me your numbers. Your my full give details. Give me your numbers. I will Listen. blow in the thing. Give me your numbers, please. My details will be on the bottom of the infringement notice. Yeah, I don't. So, won't be getting an infringement notice. Oh, you will. Can you please? So, please Gee. provide a sample of your breath. So you're, you're your refusing device. to give me your numbers? I'm Are not you refusing. I've told to give you. Me I will provide you with it shortly. So you will provide me with yes. it. Yes. On, on the infringement. infringement notice. What infringement notice? False registration plates. Please They're not false registration, registration plates. Please blow through the tube. Are you? Is, she, is her number going to be on there as well? No, it doesn't need to be. Well, I, I need both please. numbers, please. Please. You are required by law to give me both numbers. Last chance. Want to have a look at this? On Vic Road. White Suzuki Solario. Now who thinks this is funny? Fun? No, no, I was you actually... You guys do you think this is funny? You don't actually stop to listen much, do you? I was actually going to come out and apologise to you, so you're good to go, because it was actually come out as a white suzuki. Can I have this? Are you serious? Yeah. What, you you're not going to give it to me? So you lied again? No, I've had a discussion with the car on the phone. I've decided it's not the best thing. Yeah. Now, after watching that, any ex-cop would be infuriated. It's disgusting. It could be seen on reasonable grounds that these two, well, we call them galars, just pull that woman over because they didn't like the number plate and they knew who she was and made her go through breath testing and drug testing. All for what? Unlawfully, of course. And in the end, she had the the intelligence to look it up on, on, her, on her phone and said her car was white and took it back. And then these... Idiot, this it, clown. I'm absolutely really, it's disgusting. It really is embarrassing. As an ex cop, it's bloody embarrassing. Gets out of his car and says, Oh, we're, he, he talks down to her and says, Oh, we were going to explain, you know, our mistake. Now, come on, Mr. Commissioner, put these guys back on the divvy van, get them off the road. They're giving decent cops a bad name. As today is the last day of 
October. I have to rush this, and I don't really have the equipment to speed things up. Anybody's got any recording equipment out there they want to give away? I'm your man. Anyway, just one thing before I go. I'm going to show you something about the elections. They're going to be counted overseas. That's an interesting fake, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will go do some more fake stuff. Probably a little more professional if I can do it. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If this is not really uh, doing well on, on YouTube because of any restrictions, it'll be also on Rumble and a few others. Anyway, London News sign off. Happy Halloween, everybody. Thank everybody for watching and a happy Halloween again. Take care of yourselves. And next thing, obviously, will be Christmas. If we're all still around, it'll be a happy Christmas. Bye from London News. Bye. Mm -hmm.